The Maryland Mosby investigation will tell you what's next in the federal case against Baltimore City's top prosecutor. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Koch. Welcome to WJZ News at 5 and to those of you streaming us tonight. Now, Mosby, who faces four felony charges, wants any trial to be over before her next election. That's coming up in June. So, how fast can the court move? We have new analysis, plus an update from the U.S. attorney bringing the high profile case. And WJZ investigator Mike Helgren has it all covered for us live from Baltimore. Baltimore's federal courthouse tonight with the very latest. Mike. Rick Denise, the U.S. attorney, will not comment on open investigations, but today defended the integrity of his office. And our legal analyst says a trial by March would be very fast by federal standards, but it's not impossible. COVID could also have an impact on that date. I will fight these charges with everything I have in me. Marilyn Mosby and her attorney have been visible in proclaiming her innocence, a rare move by most defendants under federal indictment. It comes as U.S. Attorney Eric Barron, while declining to comment on the open case, told WJZ his office will follow evidence wherever it leads in any investigation. This case is unusual because we see the blending of the political and the criminal justice aspect uh, in one case. I'm telling you that she qualified for those monies. Mosby's attorney says there was money. nothing wrong with her taking a COVID-19 hardship withdrawal from her retirement account to invest in Florida vacation homes. He claims her mahogany elite travel business was impacted, despite Mosby previously stating she never made a dime from it. I'm telling you, she's not only innocent, but we have professionals who she consulted with as she qualifies on one of those on, under the statute. Adam Ruther, a defense attorney unaffiliated with the case, says coronavirus relief violations are largely untested in federal court. Uh, exactly how much of a financial hardship would she have to establish? If she lost a single dollar, is that enough? Mosby's team also wants a fast trial. Oh, we're pushing for trial in 70 days, right? Because we don't want this to affect the political outcome of this race. And so we're going to try to get a trial as soon as possible. It's certainly possible. Uh, it's also not unheard of. Uh, I myself have, have participated in cases where our strategy was to go to trial as quickly as possible. And Ruther says any jurors will likely not be made up solely of her constituents in Baltimore City. Because it's a federal case, the jurors come from all over the state of Maryland. So then, and that definitely factors into the way that you try a case. And no initial court appearance for Marilyn Mosby has been set as of this time. Ruther says that's a bit unusual because it can be done quickly and virtually. We'll stay on it. Reporting live at the federal courthouse, Mike Helgren, WJZ.